Hello, everyone, and welcome to the MathDBase.com Anacast series. I'm your host, John Cassidy. In this installment in the Algebra series, I will discuss Algebraic Techniques, Part 1, The Order of Operations. Grouping symbols are used to indicate a number, numbers, or a combination of numbers and variables that are to be thought of as a separate group in carrying out an operation or procedure. For example, in the expression a plus b multiplied by d, a pair of parentheses are used to indicate that a and b are to be added to each other, and d is to multiply their sum. The absolute value symbol is a grouping symbol used as a delimiter to indicate the extent of what the absolute value is being taken of. Here, it is used to indicate that we are only taking the absolute value of negative 3, and that that result should be multiplied by negative 2. Grouping symbols include the absolute value, parentheses, square brackets, or just brackets, and curly brackets, or braces. Parentheses are more commonly used in math than either brackets or braces, so when a grouping of this type is mentioned, a person might use the word parentheses even though they may mean brackets or braces. Parentheses, brackets, and braces have an informal hierarchy. If parentheses are nested, one pair situated inside of another, parentheses will occur inside of brackets, which will occur inside of braces. If there is only one level of nesting, as in this expression, we use only parentheses inside of brackets. In this last expression, we have two levels of nesting, so all three types are used. Though this hierarchy is not universally used, it does help to distinguish which elements of an expression are grouped with which, so we can have this expression with parentheses, brackets, and braces instead of this one with all parentheses. Radicals such as the square root symbol use another kind of grouping symbol called a vinculum. A vinculum is a short horizontal line or bar which when placed over or under numbers and or variables indicates those elements that are included in the operation. In the square root, the vinculum bar is used to indicate all digits that are to be included in the taking of the square root. In this expression, it is not clear if we mean to take the square root of 25 or to take the square root of 2, then multiply the results by 5, unless the 5 is written first, but with the vinculum, it is clear either way. The fraction line is another use of the vinculum. Using a fraction line, it is clear that the 2 and 4 should be added to each other and that 3 and 7 should be multiplied by each other. The binary operations of adding and multiplication have been physically separated by the vinculum. Other uses of the vinculum are in recurring decimals, where it is used to indicate which digits repeat. If there is more than one operation to be performed in a mathematical expression, there has to be universal agreement about which operation should be performed first. Otherwise, depending on how a person chooses to evaluate an expression, there could be completely different results. For example, if we have this expression, should we add the 5 and 3 first to get 8, then multiply by the 2 to get 16? Or should we multiply the 3 and 2 first to get 6, and then add 5 to get 11? There are five basic rules that mathematicians around the world have agreed to follow in evaluating expressions. 1. Do operations inside of grouping symbols such as parentheses first. Given this expression, we add the 3 and 5 first to get 8, and then we multiply by 2 to get 16. If we have 2 plus 3 quantity cubed, we should add 2 and 3 first to get 5, then cube the 5 to get 125. 2. If grouping symbols are nested, the operations inside of the innermost grouping symbols should be done first. If we want to evaluate the single layer nested expression that we saw earlier, First, we simplify 3 minus 9 to get negative 6. Multiply negative 2 by negative 6 to get positive 12. Then add the 5 and 12 to get 17. But since there is a negative sign outside of the square bracket, it is actually negative 17. Adding 4 and negative 17, we get negative 13. If we have this expression, also with a single layer of nesting, first subtract 1 from 9 to get 8. Multiply negative 2 and 8 to get negative 16. Then add 5 and negative 16 to get negative 11. Finally, multiply 3 and negative 11 to get negative 33. 3. Do exponentiations or powers and roots in any order. If we have 4 plus 3 squared to get 4 plus 9, then add to get 13. Give it 3 times 2 cubed, cubed 2 to get 3 times 8, and finally 24. 
Stacked exponents should be evaluated from the uppermost down. 2 to the 2 to the 3rd is equal to 2 to the 8th, because 2 to the 3rd is equal to 8, and so 2 to the 2 to the 3rd is equal to 256. 4. Do multiplications and divisions from left to right. The first expression that we looked at is equal to 11, since we should multiply 3 and 2 first to get 6, then add 5. Given 14 plus 16 divided by 4, divide 16 by 4 first to get 14 plus 4 and a sum of 18. 5. Do additions and subtractions from left to right. Given this expression, square the 4 and 3 first, then do the division and multiplication, and then add and subtract from left to right to get negative 1. Appearance at a higher level on the list indicates that the operation has a higher precedence in evaluations. Multiplication and division have equal precedence, and so do addition and subtraction, but both have to be done at a specific point in the evaluation depending on where they appear in the expression. When logarithms appear in expressions later in the algebra curriculum, they have the same precedence as exponentiation and roots. Various mnemonic devices have been used to remember the order of operations. Of the most commonly used, one is the acronym PEMDAS, or PEMDAS, which is often expanded to Please Excuse My Dear Aunt Sally, but in either case, the letters represent parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. These rules apply to the purely numerical expressions of arithmetic as well as the symbolic and numerical expressions of every other branch of mathematics.